Venice's famous canals have dried up. Venice's famous canals have water come. levels in the legendary canals of Venice, Italy have dropped to record lows. According to Venice's local tide monitor, have dropped to record lows. According to Venice's local tide monitoring authority, the water is 2.16 feet below average, with some canals running dry. The city of Venice is made up of 118 small islands connected by bridges and canals. Locals and tourists travel by gondola and boat through different parts of this UNESCO World Heritage Site. Severe drought and record high temperatures over the summer, combined with the Alps receiving less than half of its normal snowfall this year, have resulted in some Venetian canals not having enough water to float a boat. Water ambulances have reportedly had difficulty reaching patients. Beyond the environmental concerns, some who want to glide along Venice's canal. You know those canals that yeah. usually the gondolas ride in? Mm -hmm. They don't have much water. Look at this. Yep, you they don't that. have much water these days. The, the, the whole thing is recording record low water levels on Sunday. The water only reaching a little over two feet in depth. Venice's traditional sailors and public transport, they're experiencing major disruptions as a result. The local tide monitoring authority there is blaming the low water levels on dry weather and tidal changes. You know, we were talking this morning, usually we hear about record flooding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, this year. What have you heard about Venice? A city connected with canals and bridges, the world's most romantic getaway, a honeymoon destination for many. Venice stood out because of its canals, brimming with water as the gondolas navigated their way through the waterways. But this is what Venice has become now. Canals looking more like dirty ditches, the majestic gondolas beached, and people staring in shock. Venice has traditionally suffered the threat of floods. The canals which run through the city used to get inundated. That's not the case anymore. Why are Venice's canals running dry? Multiple reasons. Low rainfall, low tides, and the general trend of Italy's water cycle getting impacted by climate change. And this is happening in a place called the floating city. Let's first understand the structure of Venice. This is a city which consists of many islands. These islands are separated by canals and connected by bridges. And if you want to go from one island to the other in Venice, you need to get on board a gondola. That's how people in Venice have been traveling since the 11th century. But this mode of transportation is now under threat. There are practically no roads that can act as a substitute. If the canals go dry, completely dry, Venice could come to a standstill. Here's why. This time, the Alps received half the snowfall they usually do, so rivers are running dry. 
The problem is not unique to Venice. This is a story all over Italy. Italian rivers and lakes are running out of water. Look at the Po River. This is Italy's longest river, and its survival is in danger. The Po now has 61% less water than it usually does this time of year. Why is the Po River important? Because areas around it account for a third of Italy's agriculture. Lake Garda has a similar story to tell. Water levels in the lake have reached a record low. Last year, the situation reached a dangerous scale. Italy was forced to impose an emergency in the area surrounding the Po River. The country's agriculture sector suffered a loss of $6 billion due to the drought. Italy can't afford a similar, or worse still, a greater hit. Because droughts don't just impact the farms. They also threaten drinking water supplies and power generation capabilities. This is the story of climate change, and it's a global story. France is experiencing its worst drought since records began in 1958. Almost 75% of Romania is impacted by droughts. Same story in Portugal. 99% of the country is said to be experiencing severe drought. The Horn of Africa is grappling with its worst drought in 40 years. According to a report from last year, 2.3 billion people in the world are experiencing water stress. By 2050, 75% of the world's population could be affected by droughts. For now, it's Venice and Italy. Soon, it could be your city and your country.